Hey VQ fam, welcome back to another episode of Memos Garage AZ. In today's episode, I wanted to go over some Z1 Motorsports products. I recently did some maintenance on the Z and I bought some stuff from Z1, some stuff uh, premeditated, some stuff kind of had to while I was digging in there. But I've driven the car for about a week or so and um, put some miles on the coil packs and everything else and I wanted to kind of go over uh, my, my thoughts on whether I thought they were they were um, worth buying over OEM so anyways let's jump right into it okay so let's go over some of this stuff um, so basically everything that you should be doing at least in my mind um, that you should be doing on your engine at a hundred thousand miles is your radiator hoses your thermostat your valve cover gaskets and your spark plugs um, if in these cars the heater core hoses aren't the best especially these back ones so that could be a an item that you can throw in that um, on that list so that's basically what I did. I initially purchased the the, the heater core um, pack that Z1 sells, the upper and lower radiator hoses, the thermostat, and the spark plugs. When I was taking everything apart, two of the coil packs fell, uh, basically broke. They fell apart from the body and um, when I was in inspecting these, actually three of them turned out to be aftermarket. So the bank, the passenger side bank, all three of the coils, the coil packs were aftermarket. Who knows from where? Probably, you know, cheap out of parts stores ones. And then the three on the driver's side were OEM. You can tell they're OEM because they have, that's aftermarket. The OEM ones have, if I can find one. All right, the OEM one has um, a part number on it, uh, 22448EYOOA. When you purchase the Z1 coil packs from Z1 Motorsports, and then in the description, it says that those replace the 22448s, if I'm not mistaken. So, I had never had that happen to me in the 20 plus years that I've been uh, working on cars. Um, I, you know, every coil pack that I've ever removed to remo to replace the spark plug has always come up in one piece. I had two that broke off and when I went to go pull those out, I thought I was um, out of the woods. Um, I actually did some research and um, and I also did a, a short video and um, everyone in the description said to spray WD-40 or something like that and long needle nose pliers. That's basically what I have found online. Um, I just wanted to get some some knowledge because again it's never happened to me and you know before I started messing with it um, yeah I wanted to make sure that I had all the information because I didn't want to make the situation worse and end up making it worse for myself but anyway so use the broken top piece of the coil uh, pushed it back in there and I was able to wiggle it, wiggle it around you know spin it and eventually the two bottom halves came out again I thought I was out of the woods but then when I went back in there to take out the spark plug I noticed that the spark plug socket wasn't going in all the way it wasn't grabbing and sure enough went in there with the flashlight and that bottom rubber piece um, this piece was still stuck in there and I tried the uh, so at that point I sprayed some WD-40 in there let it sit for a couple minutes and I tried to go in there with some needle nose pliers didn't work I ended up using like a small little pick like these kind of picks these kind of picks I'm trying to see if I can find, yep it was this guy 
this was the one that I was able so I was able to get it in there and kind of like um, like I guess embedded in the plastic piece and then I was able to yank it out so once I was done with that um, I knew I wasn't gonna reuse um, those coil packs especially the aftermarket ones and I found it kind of kind of pointless to just buy to have half brand new and half used that, that are probably original engine has the well odometer says 128,000 miles so I figured just buy just buy the whole set and that way all cylinders will be firing the same way and um, you know avoid yourself any headaches having any misfires or anything like that so once I did that I actually found some other stuff that I wanted to let you guys know these two hoses sit in the back that's this one here this one um, it's a vacuum hose and this one here okay if you look at this one it's completely torn and this one wasn't as bad but it was starting to to crack here where the the clamp grabs it so if you're when you're doing this stuff and you're taking stuff off this is the the time for you to check hoses because a lot of this stuff sits especially the stuff in the back is where most of the heat is because the cats and your test pipes or whatever are sitting just under there when you're sitting at lights idling that's where all the heat's coming up and it's baking all these all these hoses so just you know check your vacuum lines and um this is the time to just check everything go over make sure that you don't you don't see anything anything weird um you know it'll be very obvious like i said like this one was obvious and this one because of that one i looked into this one more more uh, closely but again i i can't remember where it is but but you can see where where there's a actually where it's starting to crack so i figured just replace it i had extra pieces of hoses laying around um so anyways i did all the so basically everything's done the the car's been bled obviously like i said i've been driving the car for a week um i went with the blue upper and lower radiator hose i changed the thermostat um these two hoses which are infamous for bursting and um leaving people stranded because the car overheats because it has this cheap plastic joint that joins the two hoses together so i went with the z1 motorsports uh bleeder one um i also went with well like i said the heater core is a hose set it's an actual set it comes with um i'll say three hoses i, I count these two as one and it comes with this upper one and then there's a lower one that I don't even know if you can see through through the camera here let's see if you can see it it's like down down there um, I'll circle it on the screen obviously I can't see it on the small screen on the on the GoPro but if you can see it here I'll circle it that lower one <laughs> so I laugh because the reason why I didn't want to you know film you know first of all these uh, maintenance videos you know replacing you know hoses or whatever spark plugs um, you know they're not the most entertaining so I wasn't um, I wasn't in a hurry to try to film all that because I um, also was in a hurry but at the same time I probably wouldn't have been able to use a lot of the footage because it, it would have been me cursing like a mother on almost everything that, that I did especially when I when it came replacing that lower hose and dealing with these hoses that are back there trying to get to trying to get your forearm and everything and in, in there you know try to get the clamps in um, I really hope I don't have to do that for a while uh, maybe the clamps replace the clamps at uh, at the next 100k maintenance because um, you know these OEM style clamps are probably good for 100k then you want to replace them um, I really don't like using these I don't know they just they just don't look right to me they look ugly 
Um, they may or may not be better. I don't know. But anyways, I went with with all the OEM ones, went to the dealer, actually got a few of these from Z1. Everything's on the website. That's that's what's that's what's so cool about Z1 that not only do they have basically almost every OEM part that um, you could possibly need um, on their website, they also have their own line of stuff like the Z1 uh, coil packs. But anyways, let me uh, pull the car out, warm it up, go for a drive, and let me tell you what I what I um, my impressions are after driving around in the Z for about a week. All right, let's go for this uh, test drive. So I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna have to roll up the windows. I'm gonna tell you what I've noticed um, after driving the car for a week with the new setup, the new uh, Z1 Motorsports coil packs with the Denzel uh, OEM spark plugs. Um, so number one, I've noticed better acceleration um, throughout the entire um, RPM, okay? Um, this car, I've owned it for, I wanna say a year and a half, and it made it through last summer okay, but uh, at the beginning of this summer, as a, uh, uh, don't forget I live in Arizona, so it gets extremely hot here, triple digit, uh, triple digits it started getting a little hot a couple weeks ago and I already had noticed the car starting to feel uh, on those hot days like it was feeling like it was bogging a little bit like it was struggling to um, you know to get through, uh, through to get through all the gears every rpm um, especially when the AC was running okay so I knew I had to do the maintenance um, I said it had 128 actually has 129 um, I knew I had to do the maintenance before the summer came because if I didn't um, I wasn't sure how well it was gonna fare through another summer here out here in Arizona so um, so anyways I've noticed better acceleration through the RPM um, going slow fast doesn't matter um, the other thing I've noticed is it's smoother um, throughout the RPM and it idles much smoother so basically the car feels like the way I would expect it to have felt when it was brand new when it first came out of the you know the showroom uh, from whatever Nissan dealer this came from back in 2009 don't forget this is a 2009 okay so who knows what kind of you know what kind of stuff and and um, this car was originally uh, did come from I want to say I know it was in Florida some at, at some point there's there's a peach uh, pass thing here for the toll boots um, I don't think it was originally sold in Florida it was somewhere near that area but anyways it's always been in the hot, uh, hot, basically hot areas. Um, that's probably why the reason all those, uh, those two vacuum lines that I showed you guys earlier are probably that's the reason why those are all, you know, jacked up and baked up, and you know, through a summer here in Arizona. So, other thing that I have noticed, okay, is I'm getting better miles per gallon. Obviously, right? You should after doing. Uh, you know simple stuff like that like the coolant hoses spark plugs uh, coil packs you should be noticing so right now I'm um, it says that I have a range of 40 miles left um, typically when I was at this point in the past um, with two two little lines left on the on the fuel uh, gauge I would the most the best that I could get is maybe 300 if I was willing to, to take that risk and push it that far um, I think I seen 301 or 3 302 or something like that um, I, I have only seen it go over 300 once just because I typically I don't like to run it that low but I you know I have seen it in the past I'm currently at 315 make it 316 miles on the full tank with the new setup because immediately after I was done do, with everything bled the car first thing I did was to go gas up uh, full tank 
and I use my uh, trip A to keep track of my mileage uh, trip B I use it to keep track of my oil uh, oil changes intervals so I don't know if you guys do that or not but anyways 316 miles I've never been able to, to do that um, in the past so I know for a fact I'm getting better MPG and I'm actually running the AC right now and the car feels it's it's funny because with the AC on now it feels like the way the car used kind of felt when back before I did everything when I wasn't running the AC if that makes any sense um, it, I, in fact if anything it feels a lot smoother than it did when I was running the AC prior to that so definitely noticed an improvement in like I said acceleration throttle response throughout the, the, the power band throughout the RPM and my MPGs have definitely improved I, I know most people can get can't even get 300 miles out of these uh, these cars these engines um, either from the G37 the 370 350 Q you know Q50 with the 3.7 whatever most people complain that they can't see 300 uh, but but um you know I'm on G I can get probably close to 300 as well but again I never seen I never seen the, uh, this much mileage um, out of a, a tank out of any of my cars so um, other thing I wanted to show you guys was um, if I can pull over here somewhere uh, kind of third row anyways I'm gonna find a spot to pull off into and then I'm gonna close out and show you one last thing um, before I go in the meanwhile let's enjoy these windy roads nice and recently repaid windy roads Now let me find somewhere to pull off into here. Okay, check this out. On the Z1 Motorsports website right now, you can get the Nissan coil for 104 individually or you can get the Z1 Motorsports coil pack for 70 and they're having a 20% sale on there right now for $319.99 so to me typically I like going OEM on certain uh, certain parts like sensors and mass airflow sensors and stuff like that but in this case this is the only time I will make an exception uh, going with the Z1 Motorsports uh, coil pack set because they are to me definitely worth it and they're a lot cheaper than the OEM ones so anyways I thought this was gonna be a short video I think it kind of turned out to be a little longer than I wanted but um, you know if you're been on the fence about maybe jumping on these hurry up and jump on them if you're already running like a mismatch of like you know old ones and new ones or OEM ones and aftermarket ones this is definitely the way to go but um that's pretty much it um next video i don't know i don't know right now i know i'm not making a lot of videos there's a reason behind that and um you know maybe in the someday in the future when when the situation changes i will be posting more often but um i do have a set of used um bc racing callovers for this car so maybe that'll be the next thing i don't know but anyways thanks again for watching i appreciate it uh, appreciate you guys um always you know hopping on these videos and hitting the like subscribe and all that you know all that jazz youtube jazz uh, thanks again have a nice day